Good morning. It's 6.45 on this Monday morning. I'm Nick Wilson. And I'm Ethan Foreman. And how's it looking out there today? Yeah, definitely going to be a cold one. Not quite as cold as we saw this weekend, but definitely going to be warmer than we'll see tomorrow also. And then we see our KCA 9 studio camera showing just a little bit of that snow still on the ground. That will melt away as we head throughout the day today. Those temperatures right now sitting in the upper teens and low 20s, but because of the wind, it's feeling a lot colder than that out there. And those temperatures for today, definitely going to be quite cool out there, well below average as we see those highs only in the upper 30s with plenty of sunshine. I'll tell you what this means for Halloween and your trick-or-treating forecast coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Ethan, thanks. Well, over the weekend, Sioux City Police were stationed around town with booths and trash bags for DEA Drug Take Back Day. The department is encouraging residents to properly dispose of their unused medications. Take back days help make that process a little easier. On Saturday, the PD had four booths available around town for dropping off unused and expired prescription meds. Officer Thad Boyer says this event helps prevent these drugs from being misused. Opportunists always find uh, when they're in a stranger's home, they might visit the bathroom and take a bunch of prescription drugs and those can fall in the wrong hands. Um, we don't want to flush these, these prescription drugs down the toilet and get into our water system. So this is a safe way to get rid of those drugs. If you missed the take back day and still have old meds you need to dispose of, you can drop them off at the Sioux City Police Station. And meanwhile, city and school elections are coming up a week from tomorrow, and this year marks an important anniversary for direct democracy in the Rushmore State. It's been 125 years since South Dakota became the first U.S. state to have citizen-originated ballot measures. The process allows voters to put the issues they're concerned about directly up for vote. About half of U.S. states offer some form of citizen-initiated ballot measures. Those include South Dakota and Nebraska, but not Iowa. And elsewhere, these chilly temps likely have many of us feeling thankful for having a roof over our heads and a warm bed at night, but those options aren't available for everyone. More than 300 people experience homelessness in Siouxland on any given day, and a local event is working to raise awareness for that issue. The 19th annual Siouxland Sleepout is coming up this Friday, November 3rd, with a slate of activities planned for the event. And later this morning on KCAU 9 News at 11.30, we'll speak with an event organizer about what participants can expect and how you can get involved. Well, in lighter news, one of Sioux City's most popular family-focused Halloween events took place over the weekend. The Railroad Museum hosted Halloween at the Roundhouse. It featured a haunted passenger car for only the bravest of souls to explore. There were also costume and screaming contests and plenty of other spooky fun things to do. We spoke with the volunteer coordinator about the work it takes to put on this kind of event. We have volunteers that come out just for this event. They drive from Lincoln, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. They spend uh, many hours ahead of time decorating the facility. Uh, we have very uh, many dedicated volunteers uh, throughout the year, and a lot of them really look forward to this. The museum will hold two more events for this year. Those include a special Veterans Day program on November 11th and their annual 12 Days of Christmas starting on December 1st. Well, now it's time to meet today's Stray of the Day. Every day we share a pet picked up by Sioux City Animal Adoption and Rescue who's waiting to go home, or in this case, two of them. Yeah, that's right. This is Pumpkin and Spice. They're both female, one-year-old orange tabby cats. They were found on the 1400 block of Rock Street. The rescue says they're identical twins when it comes to looks. However, Pumpkin is very friendly and outgoing, while Spice is pretty shy. Pumpkin and Spice are both available for adoption now. If you've lost your pet, looking to adopt, or you'd like to sponsor a pet for adoption, you can visit the rescue's website. That's at SiouxCityAnimalRescue.com. 
and we love featuring our stray of the day. But with Halloween coming up, we'd love to shine the spotlight on your furry friends too with our KCAU 9 Halloween Pet Picks Contest. That's right, this entry is titled Happy Halloween from Mitty and came with the caption, I am Mitty the kitty from Creighton. I am four months old and I love the camera. And remember, we'll announce our winner tomorrow morning right here on Good Day Sioux Land. And that winner will receive a prize pack from our sponsors. You can check out more of the entries on our website. That's SiouxLandProud.com. And I can't imagine too many of the pets would be enjoying these temperatures, even with those Halloween costumes. Yeah, definitely going to be a chilly one out there for your trick-or-treating tomorrow night. We'll discuss that in a moment, but our storm cast for today shows that not much there's not much going on through the rest of the day, but you do see a batch of some clouds and even some snow showers well into Minnesota. The clouds could be coming with us, but the snow will stay out of the region. As we head into tomorrow, though, we see clear skies for much of the day, but it will be very cold as we see some more clouds move in as we head into tomorrow night and Wednesday morning, but then those quickly move out into the daytime on Wednesday, and those wind chills are not uh, working right now. I apologize for that, but we'll see those drop down into the single digits for tomorrow. However, for today, sunny, breezy, and warmer with a high of 39 degrees. And then as we head into tonight, we see a low of 19 degrees, mostly cloudy, breezy, and cold. But those fe feels like readings are going to be close to zero for some of us tonight as those winds will be out of the northwest, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Definitely going to be a cold one out there for your Halloween. And then looking at your uh, forecast now we see a, tr a trick of 32 degrees and very windy conditions but then the treat is we get some sunshine on the way for your Tuesday for Halloween. Those temperatures do warm back up into the 40s though as we head into later this week even 50s possible by the weekend. However we do fall back on Sunday morning. Don't forget to set those clocks back one hour before you go to bed on Saturday night. Then we see some rain showers move in Sunday night and Monday and staying cloudy and cooler for election day. Now we turn to sports, where the weekend's winter conditions didn't put a damper in Siouxland sports, whether those were indoors or out in the snow. Noah Sacco has the highlights from some of the weekend matchups right here in your morning sports wrap. Good morning, Siouxland. Earlier yesterday, Nebraska women's basketball tipped off its season exhibition style, and then it was the men's turn for the doubleheader as the Huskers hit the hardwood for the first time this season, hosting in-state Fodone, entering the year with its most experienced roster in Fred Hoiberg's fifth season at the helm. Huskers returning more than 50% of its scoring from last year, first time that's happened since the 2018-19 season. Keisei Tominaga, the biggest returner, he gets the breakaway bucket to tie it early at sixes. His only points, though, he'd with an ankle injury. Later, Huskers ahead six. Eli Rice spinning and touching off the glass for two. Team I 18 points for the freshman yesterday. Huskers lead 38-27 at half. Back to work down low in the second half. Jerron Coleman getting physical in the lane. Bucket and a bruise. Coleman with 12 points, one of five Huskers in double-digit scoring. One of them was Sam Oyberg, coach's son, driving through the left side. Later, hoop and the harm. He and C.J. Wiltshire tied for 15 points. Huskers outscored Doan 46-26 in the second half to win it 84-53. Season and home opener on November 6th versus Lindenwood. The Northwestern Morning Sun matchup attracted eyes throughout Siouxland and the country on Saturday for the number one versus number three battle of unbeatens. Also piquing the interest of one man who's gone viral for his cross-country journey for the best college football games this fall. Folks, meet Roger Sherman, a former blogger at The Ringer who wrote about the excitement of college football but had never experienced much of it. So he left his job and has been spending the year doing road trips across the country to experience as many college football games as he can. From seeing Texas at the Cotton Bowl to the Cyhawk game to feeling the buzz of Enter Sandman at Virginia Tech, Sherman is soaking in all the stadiums, traditions, and moments along the way. But when deciding his 28th game of the year to attend, Northwestern Morningside was heavily suggested. And having never been to an NAI football game in the snow, no less, Sherman knew it was too good to pass up. I've been to 28 games this year. I've been to Ohio State, I've been to Texas and Oklahoma, I've been to, but I'm going to remember this forever. This was a one-of-a-kind experience, um, and 
I, I think my favorite part of it was seeing how into it people were, even despite the conditions. I, uh, I had an awesome time. Sherman says he plans to get to 50 or even 60 games this season. As of now, he's keeping the NAI football championship in Durham, North Carolina on his list. That's your check at sports. You stay classy, Sioux land. Now let's take a look at this morning's top stories. What you need to know before you go. Downtown Sioux City was packed over the weekend as people gathered to hear former President Donald Trump speak at a rally held at the Orpheum Theater. The former president was introduced by one of his former challengers for the 2016 Republican presidential nomination. That's Dr. Ben Carson. Trump began his remarks yesterday by greeting the crowd, saying, quote, hello to a place where we've done very well, Sioux Falls, end quote. Trump addressed the crowd about several topics, including energy costs in the U.S., and he says farmers will be thankful if he gets elected in 2024 because they'll end up saving money. We had the best economy in the history of our country, and we'll do it again. I think we could do it quickly. Look, they really loused it up with energy. Energy was a disaster. We will say the words, drill, baby, drill. We'll be drilling very quickly. Okay? So those big tractors that you bought that take a little more fuel, you'll be very happy. Some of the other topics covered by the former president included national security and comments about one of his opponents for the GOP presidential nomination, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. And before the former president's arrival downtown, supporters waited outside, lining up in the cold to hear him speak. Some waited in line overnight, braving the elements just to be able to get in. We spoke with one supporter about the importance of presidential candidates visiting smaller cities and why he believes Trump should win in 2024. More intimate and more relatable to the people, you can interact with them, it's better to come to smaller venues. We, we love Trump, he's the greatest president ever. We love the camaraderie, we love um, America, he loves America. We want him back in office, like pronto. This marked Trump's second rally in Sioux City within the past 12 months. His last local rally was at the Sioux Gateway Airport in November of 2022. Another contender for the 2024 GOP presidential nomination will be in Sioux City today. Entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy will be at the Stony Creek Hotel this evening, according to the Woodbury County Republican Party. They say the event will start at 5.30 p.m. and it's free to attend. This will mark Ramaswamy's second campaign stop in Sioux City. And finally, the Iowa DOT says a change is on the way for a stretch of U.S. 75 between Hinton and Merrill. The northbound lanes have been closed for several months for construction work, while the southbound lanes served as the route for both directions of traffic. Starting at 9.30 a.m. today, weather permitting, that will be reversed for about two weeks. Both directions of traffic will travel along the newly completed northbound lanes, while the southbound lanes will be closed. One thing that will stay the same, you still won't be able to make any left turns along the stretch of road affected by the lane closures. And we should have some decent driving weather these next couple days, right? Yeah, definitely going to be decent driving weather. But keep in mind that temperature is going to be above freezing during the day, below freezing at night. So there might be some icy spots. As we look at our wind chill forecast for the rest of the day, we're starting out quite chilly this morning and we'll only see those climb into the 20s and low 30s this afternoon. Then and to tonight, we see those drop even colder as many of us wake up to feels like readings tomorrow morning close to zero. So definitely going to be a very chilly one out there tomorrow morning and even into the afternoon hours, not much of a warm up. We see those temperatures feeling like they're in the teens for trick-or-treating tomorrow evening. Definitely going to be an unbelievably cold Halloween with those highs in the low 30s. Then we do see some warm-up and a warm-up on the way as we head toward the weekend highs near 50. At least those temps climb up for the weekend. Yes, they do. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your morning.